So good afternoon, everyone who is joining us for a very special Community Connect webinar by Agencies, Agencies, which is a one-stop digital platform for all the education and migration agents located across the globe. And today's topic in the Community Connect webinar, we have got uh, Sunena Shrestha, and we'll be discussing on this very, very interesting topic of how any agency, be it a new agency or an established agency, can overcome challenges while they are running their operations. I know on the basis of interacting with so many agencies, I know this fact that you face all kinds of challenges, right from marketing, getting the new students, and then taking them to the next level. So we have got Sunana, who has just started off her own agency a few months back. So first of all, Sunana, welcome to this uh, episode. And also would love to hear your story, the story of your company. Thank you so much, Saurabh, for that warm welcome. Um, hi, everyone. Yes, as Saurabh mentioned, I started Edvision um, nearly a year back now. <laughs> so um, I worked with um, one of the leading uh, education agency uh, in Australia, in Sydney. Um, and um, I have always been passionate about, you know, education sector and students. Uh, and once I came into in Australia as an international student, I found it very challenging in terms of, you know, uh, we being directed as uh, to one course uh, when we came from Nepal, but then here us changing the course in the middle and, you know, the visas and everything. It, it was kind of um, a little bit distracting for us as an international student as well, because we had to do our assignment. We had to go to work, but we had to find out ways to help ourselves in terms of visas and changing the college or university at the same time. So when I landed my first uh, job in an educational um, agency, I got to learn so much. I got to learn so much from them and the need of international students as well. So that's why it, uh, you know, propels me to start my own agency so that I can work and help them give them ethical service in terms of their need and in terms of providing them the clear pathway as to um, where they want to head you know so so yeah it's it's been a quite of a like it has been challenging but it has been rewarding at the same time so yeah thank you so much sanana for sharing your story i'm sure it will inspire a lot of people uh, who might be thinking of doing the same or who are in the same sector but still struggling to get uh, enough business into their uh, domains so as i just started off this discussion sunana i talked about that there are a lot of challenges that an education agent faces right from getting the new leads then understanding how we can market uh, to the customers or how we can develop those relationships how did you uh, overcome these challenges and what were the challenges primarily that you faced initially so, uh, yes, like you've got some valid points there, you know, uh, starting your own agency uh, is actually a big de deal if you don't understand the market well. And we have so much market here, the niche, like which market you would be working with, be it the South Asian or, you know, American market, South uh, African market, whichever, like, so firstly, um, understanding the market which market you were working with and which market you would want to be involved with so in terms of that also and uh, you need to understand that where your expertise lies or which market you can communicate well because communication is i think the key player here in our journey as an educational agent or migration agent so the main challenges that I initially faced were, of course, to generate the lead. But at the same time, uh, because uh, this business has a lot of competition, every block you go, <laughs> you go to, like, like, I don't know how many educational agents are there in Sydney alone, you know. And of course, a student would want to go here and there, uh, and it, they have every right to go. But then uh, we've seen uh, students being misled 
uh, and misdirected even once we have done the you know full counseling and just because of the competition or just because of price beating uh, we losing the students are um, generating the new lead at the same time when there are um, no referrals from our from your existing clients that was a big challenge and COVID, of course um because uh, we tend to work with new students every year every semester you know but when covid was there for the last two years there were no new students coming in the country so that was quite challenging um and developing new partnership with new universities and colleges especially if you are uh, uh, starting your own agency so that is also another challenging area that i want to talk about so we've got to have um, all these strategies in place uh, marketing is another challenge challenging area as well so yeah these uh, these challenges we i think we need to strategize ahead before starting uh, agency but once you once you you know start your agency and once you go ahead with uh, working uh, working with uh, the students then we, you'll find again couple of more challenges but but like you you get along and you know how to deal with it slowly yeah i think uh, these are some of the key challenges which i have also been hearing in the recent times and i'm sure that your answers uh, might help them in understanding what those challenges are how they can tackle that um also wanted to touch base upon with you related to the key partnerships that you have with other agents and other education agents and migration agents, as you just touched based upon that, there are a lot of education agents. And in business, we talk about one term is competition. Another term is collaboration. Uh, and some there is another term which where we mix competition and collaboration together. So mm -hmm. how important do you feel is not only looking at your competition, but also thinking of possibly collaborating with them making mm -hmm. them a uh, super agent or sub agent uh, and possibly yes. increasing our revenue when we are not getting enough uh, business. Yes, this is, um, this is very true. This is very accurate. Um, uh, like competition is there, but at the same time, there are so many agents who are lending their helping hand and we can be that, you know, um, yes, we can collaborate and work together. And it is very crucial as well. Uh, if we don't collaborate with agencies, uh, with other migration agent, education agent, then surviving and thriving both is like absolutely difficult, uh, especially especially here in Australia and in Sydney. So why collaboration is important? Why can, can't you be a lone wolf here is if you are starting your new agency, let me give an example. You will not have partnership with all the educational institutes, all the universities. And even the big players here, they don't have partnership with all the big universities and colleges at the same time. So why we need to collaborate is, as you mentioned, like, you know, um, we can be an, uh, super, we can play an app um, as a role of super agent or sub agent for these agencies. And that's how our students, we can help our students, no matter even if we have direct partnership with the university, or even if we don't have the direct partnership with the university, we won't be disappointing our students. So we, we you know, actually have that uh, somewhat indirect linkage with which university they would want to go with. Now that is the educational part of it. Another thing is, uh, in terms of migration, you know, rules keep on changing. Every now and then rules keep on changing. So to stay on top of that, because rules are interpreted differently by different migration agents, different educational agents. So in that case also, if you do not have somebody to talk to, if you do not have somebody to understand their point of view, understand their perspective, you might be lost in this ever-changing rules of Department of Australia or Australian rules, Australian um, regulations. So it's all utmost important to have that close connection with 
couple of educational agents, couple of migration agents as well. So it's not like it's not just like you taking their service, but it's like you also contributing from your end at the same time. So I personally have benefited a lot by this collaboration. I have worked with multiple educational agencies and migration agents, seek their help, um, you know, uh, of course, ask for strategies at the same time because they're working in this field. So I need to understand their mindset. I need to understand their point of view. And I have had excellent um, support from them. And I try and support them as much as I can in every avenues of our services. So yeah, collaboration a must. It's a strength for us. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, it's kind of a mutual give and take. If you share something, you learn something from them. They also learn yeah. something from you. They also learn something from your mindset and how you are running your business. Exactly. Isn't it? And and we have a lot of, uh, sorry to interrupt. So there are so many services that are in interlinked as well. You know, in this education business, it's not just like you uh, uh, giving the student this idea of which university to go to or which college to go to or which visa. Apart from that, there are so many other services, health insurance services or professional year services or, uh, you know, PTE or NATI preparations. So a single agency might not necessarily have all those services under their wings under their roof so they might collaborate and send their students for the for the help like for the service that other agency have and you know that that also mutual mutual benefit That's and true. one stop solution for the students at the same time yeah absolutely um also looking at another aspect is building a healthy relationship with your clients i know that building a healthy relationship with your client has different stages first of all having that initial conversation, then taking it to the next level, then asking them about their interested services, what they are interested in doing, what they want to do in Australia or Canada or UK, wherever they want to study. And then, mm -hmm. uh, you know, providing them with a solution or an advice. How mm -hmm. important do you think that relationship building with clients is in um, getting more business for an education agent or running a successful education agency? Hmm. It is the crux of the business, I would say. If you if you ask a hungry person, what's the importance of food? What is that hungry person's answer going to be, right? So relationship building with the student, I think, is the core value of our business because they are the ones whom we are giving service to. If there's no student, if there's no relationship built, then whom are we going to give our service? How are, how's our uh, business going to run? And this relationship is not, not just one-time transactional relationship. No, it is not. We want to help students through every avenues, through from initial until they have their desired outcome here in Australia. Since we are based in Australia, I'm just talking about Australia, but uh, be it whichever country they want to go for, migrate to or get education from, building healthy um, client relationship is very important. Now, how do we build this relationship? Like you mentioned in your pointers, first we get to know them uh, and clear communication from the start is very, very important with the students clear transparent communication no hidden agendas involved no hidden agendas involved as to um we first need to understand their need before our business need because we trying to sell them something but they wanting something else so if they want something and if we can provide that something to them, then only the, their hunger is, you know, they, their hunger is fulfilled. Otherwise, they asking something, we providing something else, totally not going to work. So in order to build that long-term relationship with the client, long-term friendship with the client, 
um, obviously we need to understand them firstly build up that close communication follow up follow up follow up and then um, help them with what they are seeking for sometimes clients um, when they come to us they are so confused they are so confused as to what to do next where to go next so in at those times if you hit the target well give them the proper solution to their problem or at least a way to have whatever they want to achieve and give them deadlines because sometimes students have a lot of deadlines for work or university assignment but they don't have deadlines for their own uh, you know pathways as to where they want to go next so we need to be that person to show them to give them that flash flashlight towards that pathway okay this is the stop here you need to finish this is your deadline for this work and then this is your deadline for that work so that's how um, you know we can build a close relationship and they require individualized service as well it's not a cookie cutter approach as to giving one solution to all the clients understanding their need and then giving them individualized personalized service is um, what builds a great relationship in my opinion I, yeah. I hope that answers the question, Saurav. Yeah, that answers the question. Uh, but do you want to highlight specifically on, say, the top two or three ways that probably uh, you, you you are utilizing or you have heard other education agents utilizing, which really help to build a healthy relationship? For example, it can be just giving them a cold call or sending oh, them yes. an email, you know? So yeah. are there any specific two or three ways that you generally uh would recommend to other education agents as well in the market like i said uh, three things follow up second thing follow up third thing follow up but in that again the those follow up yes definitely cold call comes in but initially when the client initially comes to you uh you have uh, you have to um, actually listen to their story and record whatever they have said so that you don't miss out their case so when you do that, so the first step is understanding the client's story and then you giving them the solution for that short temporary period of time until the next phase comes. But then uh, giving them that um, staying in touch with them, staying in touch with them and timely service, timely service with whatever their queries are or with whatever service they need that helps in developing a great relationship with the client. And also um, just being there for them, uh, like say different occasions comes, just sending them an email or sending them an SMS saying, hey, okay, happy new year or um, happy women's day that just recently went. So th those are the things that will remind them, okay, agent, uh, Edvision is there. My agents are there, out there, you know, thinking about me, helping me out. So, so that that's how the bond is created, and that's how I think uh, long-term relationships are built. Yeah, I think these are really good points, Anana. Another thing that I really want to touch base upon here is the referral marketing. Um, I know that in education industry, we generally get a lot of people who are coming through either referrals or word of mouth marketing. Maybe some of your existing customers have referred them to their friends yes. in the market. Yes. What is the role of referrals uh, that you see uh, in an education agency's business? I think our business is very much into referral marketing, especially at this stage. Like I said, when no new leads are generated or when there was no new lead because of COVID. So referral marketing... As I said earlier, as our question, uh, it, it connects with the question earlier question, how do we uh, build a great client relationship? So when we uh, help our client meet their desired goal, whether be it them, them wanting to study in a particular course in a particular university or we helping them with their visas. So when they are satisfied with our service, they would definitely want their friends um, to take service from us. Uh, there are times when um, 
they are lost and there's nobody to help or uh, you know different different things uh, previous bad experience with other agents and stuff so um, when clients refer one client refer to other uh, client and they come in and they get the similar service as um, their friend who referred them uh, you know personalized service that's how the chain is uh, developed and it is very important because they are organic clients to us. So when somebody refers, for example, client A refers client B, it is my responsibility to give equal attention, if not more, to client B, like client A, so that client A's word are valid when client B comes to us. Okay, this, this agent is really helping me and I, I hope he can help, he or she can help. So if we meet that standard they're already uh, half converted when they have your good words from client a so that way um, i think referral marketing is referral market is very very important very crucial but at the same time we having enough resources to um, to fulfill their need to fulfill their need with our services is important yeah and uh, referral marketing is right yeah yeah referral marketing is so important and another important pillar of marketing is social media marketing there are different social media platforms these days such as instagram facebook linkedin twitter um and now we also have tiktok so, yeah. so many platforms through which we can reach out to the customers um how do you see the role of these social media platforms uh, in really promoting your agency, reaching out to a lot of new leads and, uh, you know, capturing new clients. It is very important. This is the one area where we are still working on because um, social media marketing is huge. Um, I'm still learning. Um, my team is still learning. We are still experimenting on a lot of things. Uh, but but the the importance it has is really um, you know vital. We've had some very good leads turn up through social media marketing, and if we say okay, um, Edvision is there. How do we brand ourselves? That is through social media. Uh, referral marketing is good, but how long until where the reach is? We don't know but social media marketing is like limitless it's like you create one video and then you know it is shared if if you are able to capture the right kind of information to the right target audience then it just reaches to hundreds and thousands um, at the same time so it is very important to utilize uh, social media marketing and we were we are able we are learning we are trying to brand our name uh, to the viewers, to the clients through social media. And we have been successful to in some extent, but we need to work like we're still work in progress. We're still exploring TikToks and, you know, um, Twitter, but we would want to uh, continue and work vigorously to represent ourselves through social media. That is that is something we are thriving for 2022. That's that's our one of our main uh, strategy or main agenda as well so it's it's very important i cannot i cannot highlight the importance of social media marketing yeah because a lot of students are uh, primarily into tiktok instagram these days and i think those are yeah. key platforms you don't have to have a very serious message but maybe in a very fun sort of a way you can still promote your agency and have some message uh, in the public so that they know about oh this is a message being portrayed by Edvision or this is a message being portrayed exactly. by some other agency. True, so true. way of uh, promoting your agency. One of the key points that you previously touched based upon was ethics, that it's always important to be what you are when you're talking to the students. And mm -hmm. I think ethics really play a major role in this industry. Mm -hmm. um, and recently agencies has tied up with the ICR, which is the International uh, student Education Agents Association in Australia, where they are becoming the voice of all the education agents and trying to promote uh, this virtue of ethics amongst the education agents. So what is the role of ethics according to you in the education agency business, Sunaina? 
look we've uh, sort of to be honest like we've always that's our main motto we've always believed in ethical services genuinity um oftentimes um as i always tell students also it's yes we are in an educational business yes we are um doing business here but most importantly we are we are trying to give a uh, service to the student so we always uh, need to keep their um, needs more than ours so when i say that um Say, for example, there are so many things students don't understand, so many rules that students don't understand, or um, them changing providers, but not understanding them reaching the visa. Uh, a student comes here for a master level course and then decides to change to a diploma course just because an agent referred or um, just because it is cheaper. But that is not right. And sometimes, students um, fail to understand or sometimes students are not given the right guidance just because they said they want to go to diploma they're given that option and they change the course breaching their visa condition which is not something what we do you know we want them to not breach the visa condition not have the problem in the later future not just give one time service and end the relationship there but be ethical and provide them the right guidance and give them the right solutions so that they can have a happy education, they can have a proper education, as well as not breach any visa conditions that they are in. So business is there, but service and clients need is always, always, always in the forefront before business for us. Okay, so now, uh, Sunana, we have touched based upon all the critical segments of an education agency business. We have talked about how you should build healthy relationships with your clients, how mm -hmm. you should also partner with universities and sub-agents and super-agents. And also looking at those critical elements like referral marketing, social media marketing, what's the role of ethics. One of the last questions that I have before we end today's session is that... A CRM such as agencies can really help all education migration agents to actually look at your back end of the tasks. Now, you touch based upon sending them personalized email, personalized SMS, you know, getting notified about their visa expiry reminders. It's very hard for you once you start growing to keep a yeah. track of everything. So you need some sort of system. What do you think uh, does an effective CRM such as agencies plays a role in the day-to-day -day operations of an education agency or migration agency business? Yep. They, from day one, we need agencies. Uh, no matter how small uh, the ag agency is, maybe you can cut corners on other things, but not in the CRM system. Definitely a strict no, because um, you're definitely growing, going to grow in the long term. You definitely need a system in place to run an education agent. So why not start from the initial inception itself, you know, and keeping the track of client, uh, doing the follow-up, timely follow-up, giving the cold calls, all these things our head cannot, our head cannot keep it, keep up, unless you're thinking of working with five clients alone, which is not the aim, right? As an educational agent, as a migration agent, or as an educational agency business, we want to grow, we want to expand. And in order to do that, we need a proper system like agencies in place. And I highly, highly, highly recommend because that's what we use and that's what we have been able to leverage to be in touch with our clients, with all the reminders, with all the invoicing, you know, um, everything like i said uh, we need to be a one-stop solution for clients like this crm system agencies has been our one-stop solution for everything for everything be it uh, giving a timely call as i said earlier or be it uh, creating a task for us be it uh, follow-up messages be it sending bulk emails to the clients or you know um, visa expiry reminders or so many other small details. And I cannot highlight the importance, like I said earlier, I cannot highlight the importance of a proper system in place from day one. And agencies has been our lifesaver. 
that's it period from my side you know it 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 has definitely helped us and it has helped us to scale yeah so, and yeah. i think in that way you're just keeping sure that you're not worried about whether i have sent an a uh, birthday email or a festival greeting to any of my clients or i have set a follow up because the system is automatically doing that yes. for you Yes, 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 and our clients are happy. You know, they they sometimes text me saying, "Oh, you remember my birthday? I got an email from your end," and it makes us feel happy that they're happy that they have recognized our effort. But it's at the end of the day, agencies is doing you know our CRM system. So yeah, that's um, I know blessing, blessing in disguise. I would say. That's great to know, Sanana. That uh, agencies have been helping your education agency. I'm sure that uh, other education migration agencies who have not started using it yet will definitely get some motivation from you to, um, you know, give it a try, start using it, and see how it is uh, working for your agency. I'm sure that a lot of your manual tasks will get reduced, and you can yeah. focus more towards capturing new markets. Otherwise, you will always be working on those manual Excel sheets. and uh, still you know trying to um, get used to the system so i think this is the time when a lot of students are now wanting to go abroad study abroad so mm-hmm. it's always good to have a crm and thank you so much uh, sunana for this healthy discussion i really enjoyed right. um, you know talking to you and discussing all those key issues for an education agency thank Same you so much here. for participating same here you have a good time